This is the worst kind of betrayal. He was so desperate to get me out of the picture. That is a woman right here in the valley who says her husband trying to buy fentanyl to kill her, then make her death appear as an overdose for her money. She spoke to our David Caltabiano about the horrifying story for the very first time. We're in a bad place. Teresa Michaels remembers the early June morning that turned her life upside down as six detectives stood at her front door. And that's when they informed me that my husband was plotting to kill me. He had been planning it for some time and I was completely, I was completely floored. Police say her husband, Dallas Michaels, tried to buy fentanyl to poison her. The plan, investigators say, was to make it look like an overdose and cash out on Teresa's life insurance policy. Detectives say Dallas was having a months long affair. Teresa, who now knows the woman, told me they were engaged. Did she know that he was married or no? According to her, no. And no, so, she, so. she says that he lied to her just mm -hmm. like he lied to me. Police were tipped off by an unidentified woman who they say was told about the plot. Investigators then set up a sting operation where Dallas allegedly set up a time and place to buy fentanyl. The unknown woman showed a text message exchange to police with Dallas saying that they were going on a family vacation to California and was, quote, doing it then, end quote. I felt sick. I felt sick to my stomach. It all, it all kind of came together, though. It was like, everything now makes sense. Dallas was previously arrested for allegedly impersonating an officer and extortion. Looking back now, the mother of three admits she should have known better. And there were a lot of red flags. How he explained it to me was he was desperate. He was trying to find a way to get our family out of this financial rut that he put us in. Teresa and Dallas owned this dojo here in Santan Valley, but now it's closed. Teresa says that she was behind on her payments. She's also behind on her mortgage payments at home. She's being foreclosed on. She's got to be out by February. On top of that, she's filed for bankruptcy. He misinformed me about everything. He was a con man. Tonight, Dallas is facing several charges, including first degree murder as he awaits trial. Teresa, a financial advisor, is asking for your help. I needed his income to help out. And without that, we're, we're struggling a lot. We really would appreciate your help. In Santan Valley, David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family.